Hi everyone, this is Bridge Raj from Tech for Mind. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about Firebase real-time database. Earlier video, I have talked about Cloud Firestore. If you haven't checked, you can go for the YouTube channel and just visit the link. So what is a real-time database? So as I told you earlier, like Cloud Firestore is not only the uh, solution for storing your data, you can use Firebase real-time database it's a simple tree like JSON structure where you can add and retrieve your data. It is lighter weight than Cloud Firestore. You can scale your application with real-time database. So this is a simplest example for adding your data. I have created a JavaScript variable, my name, and then we need to define an object, and then we need to call of query for adding a data. So there is a firebase.database.reference. We need to define a reference is just like as a node. Uh, let's say my node is data. So we use set method for adding a data. So inside set method, we need to add, call or pass the JavaScript object and that's it. If you want to read a data, so you can go for on method or once method. Or you can go for if you want to remove the data, you can call remove or if you want to update the data, you can call update method. So this is time for the feed uh, demo. So we will create a demo project. First, we'll go for the uh, Firebase dashboard. Uh, so I have created a Firebase project and then we'll go to the uh, web applications. We'll go sample app and then register application. Okay, so my application is registered. I'll go to the setting and then we'll copy the SDK CDN path and We'll go to the VS Code Editor. I create a new file index.html. Add simple Java's HTML5 logic and then paste it here. And that's it. Now we need to add SDK file for real time database. So we'll go to the documentation. Then click on get started button and then click on available libraries sdk section and then copy the real time database script and then you need to post a uh, paste after firebase sdk okay so your date uh, basic configuration is ready i'll go to the firebase dashboard this is a project dashboard we'll go for real time database And then you need to click on real, create a database. So right now I'm going to show you how we can uh, implement CRUD operations. So we'll select test mode and then enable. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is a real time database. We can add a tree like structure, JSON like let's say my structure so this is a real time database so we'll go to the code editor we will implement uh, first how to add data in real time database so for adding a data in real time database first we need to use firebase because i am using firebase inside i am using real time database so that's why i have to type as a database and then we need to define a reference uh, you can call a reference like inside the node so there is no node so let's say my reference is users inside i need to create a user1 and inside user1 i can add a data so we need to use set method for adding a data. So we will create a JavaScript object. 
So this is a JavaScript object curly braces key value pair name is equal to tf1 and you can also provide age let's suppose age is 23 and you can pass this object here and that's it now you need to go to the open the html file and then open this and that's it so there is a node user and inside sub node user one and then we have a data so similarly you can add more data say tf2 age is 24 and you can define a sub node like user2 this one is details for user2 and then reload this page and then yeah so user2 is created the age is 24 and the name is 20 uh, tf2 so similarly we can add more data tf3 5 and then user id is let's say user 3 and save it and then you need to reload the page and yeah so there is a node user inside we have three user and user details so this is how uh, we can add a data into a firebase real-time database now i'm going to show you how we can read the data from real-time database So as I uh, as we are using Firebase inside Firebase, we need to define we are using database real time database, and then we need to define a reference. So let's say I wanted to read all the data, so I just need to type reference because I need to read the data from this node, and that's it. And then we need to use on method inside. We have to pass two things. First one is a value because I wanted to uh, read all the value and then we need to call a functions. Let's say it will return a snapshot. And then we can print the data console.log snapshot dot well. And that's it. So we have a data like user one, user two, and user three here. Also, we can read the data from specific node. Let's say I wanted to read data from user one. So I need to pass the reference user one and that's it and reload it. Yeah, so user one data is uh, visible now i'm going to show you how we can update the data in real time database so we can you uh, go for update method so we'll type first firebase then database and then we need to define a reference user and then from which user we need to update the data so let's say i wanted to update user 3 and then we need to pass call update method inside we need to pass updated javascript object so let's say new data let's say updated will add name is equal to let's say tf0 and here we have to pass the object and then we re reload yeah so value is updated tf0 and similarly we can remove the data uh, remove the node so for removing a node we have to use remove method firebase dot database and then we need to define a, re a reference where you have to find uh, from which reference you wanted to remove let's say i wanted to remove user 3 so user 3 and then remove method 
save and then reload this page yeah so user 3 is removed so this is how we can implement a firebase real-time database so if you have any query you can question uh, put if you have any questions you can comment your query below and i would love to answer them uh, in upcoming videos and you can reach us on our social media and thank you so much and see you in the next video